looking first at the mining industry right now, your company, Newmont Mining and Focus, because gold prices uh, remain near uh, record levels, there are many investors calling for $2,000 an ounce for gold. What's a rational price for gold from what you're seeing from the inside? So rational price, if you define it as uh, cost of production plus a return. So right now, over the last 10 years or so, the gold mining industry has earned about a return on capital of about 5%. Mm -hmm. Pretty low. Our cost of capital obviously higher than that. In the last year, we've actually seen that come up maybe to 7 to 8%. Mm -hmm. It takes a gold price in excess of $1,000 for the industry to make money today between cost of production, uh, mm -hmm. exploration, uh, continued mine development. It takes capital every year for us to keep these mines running. So you like gold at these levels. Gold this week closing just around $1,100 an ounce. Uh, you see governments around the world buying up gold, stockpiling gold as a, as a hedge against a weak dollar, for example, as a hedge against inflation. Uh, but your take on gold in the long term, what are you preparing your company for? Some argue these levels just aren't rational and we'll see a plunge. Yeah, I think uh, we're preparing for a longer-term uptrend in gold. Why? Because with the economy of the world the way it is today, we have reflated our way, continuing to inflate, whether it's the U.S. dollar or other currencies. I think we're going to see developing countries' currency versus the U.S. adjust. Mm -hmm. I think with that, I think the continued prospect for gold as a currency to be of value is there. Mm -hmm. And I think, moreover, I think as people move more towards uh, real assets, to try to protect their portfolio. Gold right. will clearly be one of those real assets. So what would it take then for us to see a significant decline in the price of gold? I think it will take uh, recession. Recession is always bad for gold prices. And, I, and whether that's... Uh, that's, that's oxymoronic to what we've seen over the last year. <laughs> well, but we've seen a weaker U.S. dollar, sure. I think, to combine with that recession fear. And, and I that think outweighed the recession it, it pressures. It did, and I think the uh, people are really anticipating, right? And in the marketplace, what they see with the, gold, with the U.S. printing money mm -hmm. is that gold is going to be worth more. Mm -hmm. But recession will hurt in the long run. I think a, a new technology, a way to reduce gold costs, uh -huh. could actually hurt in, us. In terms of an investment for one's portfolio, whether you're talking about a big fund or an individual investor, everyone can play in gold, if you will. Copper, uh, by many of the traders I've spoken with, seems like a more rational investment looking at copper because it has that use in terms of utility, uh, whereas gold doesn't. It's just that reserve. Yeah, copper's got um, an end use, as you say, so it goes into air conditioners, it goes into buildings, it goes into cars. Yet it's so, still that tangible commodity. Yeah, we're, we're in the copper business and we like the copper business. Okay. And I think, again, copper stocks have begun building. Um, but I think increased uh, development as we see infrastructure investment around the world. Copper is going to be a, in demand. Especially in China, something for to watch. For sure, for sure. China, India. Um, was the Middle East? The Middle East will come back. Y you've said that you're one of the topics you're really talking about here in Davos is fighting corruption uh, in terms of the mining industry in particular, how to compete with China on a certain level, how to fight corruption in the emerging markets that you mine in and that you work in. Explain that to me more. So Newmont's a partner in the Partnership Against Corruption Initiative, and it's a worldwide initiative that involves people not just in the mining business but others, and mm -hmm. really just trying to get transparency to be foremost in people's minds. So publish what you pay. When we pay a government, make sure we tell people what we pay, that we uh, work in visible society so that people can see how agreements are entered into, and that particularly as a mining business, that we, we reflect that it's a sustainable business. It's a business that has to make investments in the community, whether it's through education, health, uh, that we actually work in partnership to develop that so that when the mine closes, we actually leave something behind. Future mining uh, reserves locations for Newmont Mining, where are you looking? Um, around the world, but I'd say it's getting to places which are more developing and more politically risky. Mm. I think uh, we look in upthrust areas, so where there's geothermal occurrences around the world, places like Papua New Guinea, Indonesia. Mm -hmm. um, we're already operating in Indonesia, but clearly a resource-rich place. Uh, China, Russia many places around the world that, uh, while Newmont has done some business there historically, sure. I, I tell people we have to go where the gold is. If, if it was where we'd like it to be, perhaps it'd be in Denver, Colorado, but it's uh, not. Where you are from. Yeah, exactly. All right, we appreciate your time, okay. Richard. Thanks Thank so you, much. Thank you,